Now let me be the first one to tell you that this has never been done before in Diamond Dynasty. And if you're overloaded with the amount of diamonds that we have available on day one to grind, I 100% feel you. Now, if you don't know where to start, I have some great news for you because this pack that you're seeing right here, the World Baseball Classic Player's Choice Pack that allows you to choose one player is one of the packs that you will most likely be getting for pre-ordering one of the deluxe editions of the game. So whether you pre ordered the digital or the physical edition of the game you will be getting this pack included inside that bundle as well as early access which grants you the ability to play MLB the show 23 this 24th at midnight Eastern time 9 p.m. Pacific time now inside this pack we have all 90 overalls there are eight players they all belong to set one it is important to note that they all belong to set one because that means when set three comes out these set one cards will no longer be usable in certain online game modes like ranked seasons and this is important because this is a humongous change a lot of these 99 overall cards that we are going to be receiving are not going to be usable in set three so that is why they're bringing out 99 overalls on day one because it's always going to be refreshing at a certain pace which is going to be similar to six to eight weeks inside this pack you have eight diamond players and i will always suggest to you all to save the diamond choice packs for last if you order the digital you will be getting 20 standard packs and if you ordered the physical i believe it's 10 standard packs in addition to some gold choice packs and you probably have some legacy rewards if you play and will be the show 21 as well so i advise you all and if you're gonna buy packs buy packs early but i advise against it as well i advise you all to open up the standards and the gold choice packs first why because you might receive a diamond inside those packs that will go ahead and take the spot of whichever player you selected from here first so go ahead open up those packs see where it is your team needs the most help in and then save these diamond choice packs for last so you can go ahead and then make a smarter decision getting a player that will 100% go ahead and upgrade your roster and keep in mind that we also are getting a diamond Derek Jeter diamond Derek Jeter is going to be for absolutely free inside the show shop as soon as you launch the game and it's going to be available the 28th as well so you don't need early access for that inside this pack although I'm covering one in the bottom left and I will discuss them as well we have Yoani Cespedes left field primary Tyler O'Neill center field primary that's the one I'm covering and then we have from Israel Danny Valencia third base primary USA Kyle Schwarber left field primary Alexis Diaz Edwin Diaz's brother relief pitcher Didi Gregorius first base primary then we have Masataka Yoshida left field primary and then last but not least we have Benny Pascantino he's first base primary what's that I heard 90s weren't enough for you you wanted 95s well okay we got 95s coming to you as well on day one now side note I do not believe that this pack is going to be included as one of the pre-order bonuses if you ordered either deluxe edition I think this pack is going to be included inside the world baseball classic program and I think that the world baseball classic program is probably going to be its own featured program that allows you to progress towards it and unlock packs like these and unlock diamonds like these as well now inside these programs I want you all to keep in mind and inside collections in general each card usually has a series and the world baseball classic program is most likely gonna have its own series and it's most likely gonna have its own collection something that I would like to say is very possible is for you to collect the entire World Baseball Classic series, meaning each and every single card that they drop for it would unlock you a 99 overall card, which we will reveal later on because they already tweeted it out. But inside this pack right here, 95 overalls all belonging to set one. Instead of choosing one player, you're allowed to choose two players. So you see how they put four on the left and then four on the right. It could be that round one is the four on the left and then round two is the four on the right or they could put all eight in the same row and then allow you to select two either or i'm just letting you know but you have patrick sandoval at starting pitcher you have harry ford at catcher which i'm currently blocking nolan arenado at third base christian javier at starting pitcher paul goldschmidt first base 
Eduardo Julian, second base. You have Camilo Doval, closing pitcher. And then last but not least, Luis Robert Jr., center fielder. Now before going to the next set, let me remind you to hit that like button, rest subscribe button, notification bell. We stream on Twitch at 10 p.m. Eastern, and we have a Discord. All links are inside the description, as well as my social medias, and how to become a member of the YouTube channel. Everything helps, and I love your support. Let's continue. You're tired of seeing 95s? You also want to see some 97s? That's fine. We have Julio Urias. 95 overall starting pitcher and then Mookie Betts 97 overall right fielder and then there's a big diamond right there that they didn't go ahead and reveal but I think they finally did today and you're gonna see him later on you said to yourself I saw some 97s I want more 97s I want to get a taste of the 97s well hey we have an around the world pack one which means that there are most likely going to be pack twos pack threes pack fours you name it choose one player choice pack that has five 97s and one 99 overall who is that 99 overall it's Miguel Cabrera first base primary position which is very important because if he was designated hitter primary position that means at first base he would have fielding penalties him being first base primary position helps him out tremendously you also have this catcher I won't pronounce his name, but you guys can all see at the top left. Then at the bottom left, you have 97 overall Gene Segura, surprisingly third base primary. Then you go to the top right, you have Byungho Park, first base primary, all the way to the right, 97 overall, Pablo Lopez, starting pitcher, and then bottom right, you have third baseman, Gio Urshela. If you still got that itch to see some more 97 overalls, I got you, don't you worry. We also have Ty John Walker, starting pitcher, Yu Chang, first baseman. We have Kensuke Kondo, right fielder. We have ourselves Yoshinobu Yamamoto, starting pitcher. And then the man that has done it all inside the World Baseball Classic, Randy Arozarena, left fielder. And I want you all to note that this does not say that these players are going to be inside a choice pack. So if you look at the final program of MLB The Show 22, you will see that throughout the program, you are able to unlock with a certain amount of experience a diamond card and I believe that some of these cards are going to be like that where at 200,000 XP instead of getting let's say a 20 pack bundle you will instead unlock Tyjon Walker and so on and so forth and those are the cards that I believe will not be sellable but anything inside of a pack should be sellable in my opinion that's cool and all we see the 97s but we want to see some attributes how good are these cards gonna be look no further Randy Rosarena left field he's gonna have 92 contact versus right 122 contact versus left 82 power versus right 107 power versus left and then this is one of the most important hitting attributes 97 clutch so regardless of whether it is a right-handed pitcher with runners on base or a left-handed pitcher he's going to instead of having those contact numbers have 97 contact basically against both sides in addition to those power numbers so in my opinion this is going to be a great card to have if you are able to to get him on day one and even if you do have a better left fielder this is also going to be a great bench bat because as you parallel him up to parallel three you'll be able to get him max out in terms of contact versus left and over 100 clutch as well which is all crucial i want more well-known 97 overalls blade do they have any well-known world baseball classic 97 overalls well do you know who johnny cueto is because he has a 97 overall starting pitcher do you know who yohan mancada is third base primary because he has a 97 overall how about freddie freeman whose swing is always like butter and will be the show he has a 97 overall how about young who lee center field primary he has a 97 overall and then tim anderson shortstop he has a 97 overall it's diamonds galore up in this don't you forget they said that they were bringing 99 overalls on day one and the world baseball classic has exactly that francisco lindor shortstop primary 99 overall then you have from japan third baseman munetaka murakami third base primary 99 overall devin williams relief pitcher so they said hey 
This program is going to be filled with everything. And me personally, if this is the feature program, which I don't want to say it is 100% confirmed because you never know how SDS goes ahead and switches things up. This could be the boss pack that you would have to choose one of these three diamonds because I feel like it's too good to believe that you would be able to obtain all three diamonds for your diamond dynasty team. I mean, just look at this card right now. 99 overall Trey Turner available on day one. This would be your starting shortstop if Francisco Lindor did not exist. Because Francisco Lindor exists, you would most likely find another position inside the infield or center field for Trey Turner to play. But because I said that this is most likely, even though I'm not confirming it because I do not know, going to be similar to a featured program, I think that what they're going to do with this card right here is they're going to integrate it as if it was a monthly awards. Meaning once you complete the entire World Baseball classic program after you got the boss choice pack this is going to be the last singular pack that or singular card excuse me that you're going to be able to obtain and it's most likely going to be non-sellable it's either going to be that or they're going to make this the collection reward for collecting the entire World Baseball Classic Series, meaning all the 90 overall players. And if they have silver, golds, and bronzes, those two, all the way to the diamond players, Trey Turner might be that 99 overall collection reward. So I'm letting you know off rip that there might be a enormous collection reward coming into the game, which is going to make the market inflate and go crazy, especially with World Baseball Classic cards instantly. So if all the that being said i hope you guys did end up enjoying today's content please make sure to hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell inside the description you will find the twitch link discord link social media links as well as how to become a member of the channel we stream each and every single day at 10 p.m eastern have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all in the next one peace out